Um, my name's Jan Boy, and I'm now retired, but I was a teacher at Mill Hill County High School, which is in the London Borough of Barnet, and I taught for 43 years. Not in the same school, I might add, but uh, 43 years. Um, in 2008, a leaflet came across my desk, and it was from ACES, and I read it and immediately thought that I'd like our students to be involved with ACES. And it was um, a leaflet about nominating children for the ACES Diamond Award um, evening and for the ball. And um, so I spoke to some of our youngsters and said, would you like to be nominated? They said, oh, yes, please. And I said, well, rather than me write the application, how about you write the application? You try and sell yourselves. Because the, the, if you've not been to the awards uh, ceremony, it is for key, it, in those days, there was a Key Stage 3 SATS award, GCSE, and so on. And I said to them, there'll be lots of students with the same GCSE results as you, but you've got to sell yourself. What is there else about you that they're going to say this person stands out? So after several drafts, we sent off all our nominations, and all of our children were successful, as they were for the next three years. Um, and then in 2011, two of our students were contacted by Donya and the team and invited to the House of Lords because they'd been nominated for a further award and we took them to the House of Lords and we had an absolutely wonderful afternoon in the House of Lords and they went away with their certificates, which was an absolutely wonderful experience. Um, and it wasn't just that they got their awards. Every time they got an award, our students, it inspired them to be motivated to achieve even higher. And when they went back to school, the other children then wanted to emulate their success. So it had a knock-on effect within the school. And I have to say that one of our students who got an award, it wasn't necessarily because of his achievement, because there is one award which was about overcoming adversity. And this particular young man, as he is now, um, was at a different school and was in with the wrong crowd and doing the wrong things. And he said to his mother, I need to change schools, I need to turn my life around. So he persuaded his mother to come to our school. 18 months later, he finished with a full set of GCSEs and embarked on A-levels with us. So he did turn his life around and he got an award for, for uh, achie um, achieving over adversity. The other project we took part in was the Higher Education Conference, which was in uh, collaboration with Cambridge University. And that was a wonderful day, because all the students there had the chance to speak to all sorts of people about going to Cambridge or other universities, being inspired by other students who were already at Cambridge. And every single one of them came away wanting to apply to university, and did apply to university, and go on to university, which was absolutely wonderful. As well as those experiences, Donya has also had a very, very personal touch with the students. So some of the students that went to this conference, they particularly wanted to have some internships during their summer holidays between their AS and their A-levels, and they were able to contact Donya personally and say, have you got a contact in this field or that field? And she would find them a placement during the summer holiday, which I think is absolutely amazing to have that kind of personal provision. They also had invitations to events at the Royal Albert Hall. And um, the dedication by the ACES team has actually been truly inspirational, not only for our youngsters, but also for our teaching staff at school. How am I doing for time? I'm OK. Um, I wanted to sort of digress slightly, if that's OK, because I have another, not job, but all the time I've been teaching, I've been involved in athletics at uh, English schools level. And we organise competitions from a school level right the way to international level. And uh, I'm very lucky to actually be the team manager for the England Schools Athletics team. And I meet the most amazing young people. And this year I took 70 of them to Ireland. 70 young people from all over the country, a whole range of backgrounds, but they were the best in this, in this country in athletics in their particular events. And what I wanted to say was that to achieve in sport, you see that you need the same qualities as you need to achieve academically. And these qualities are that you have to be hardworking, have an awful lot of self-discipline, make a personal sacrifice on occasions, or many occasions sometimes, determination, be highly organized at all times, self-belief, and a hunger to succeed. You must have that hunger, otherwise you won't make it. Um, I'd just like to tell you about one particular young boy that I've had in the team. Maybe 15 years ago, we had a youngster in the England team, and uh, he'd come into this country not being able to speak English, 
I'd had quite a tough time at school because he didn't know how to fit in with his school when he first came to England. But he went to a school where a particular PE teacher could see his potential and persuaded this young man, I think you could be a really good runner. The boy was not that keen at the time, but he was persuaded by this particular teacher to take up running. And he then became quite successful at school level, county level, and then became an England runner. He hasn't always won every race. He's lost many races, but he learnt that losing races, he could benefit from that as much as he could from winning because he could learn from actually what he did wrong in the races and that was part of his strength as well as winning. He's had setbacks in his running career, but he was absolutely determined that he was going to become world class. And I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about by now. It's Mo Farah. Okay, and Mo Farah had that opportunity because he went to that particular school with that particular teacher. And I don't know if you also know that he's got a twin brother. And his twin brother didn't have the same opportunities. He didn't come to England to live. He stayed in their home country. And he probably had the same potential as Mo, but he didn't have his opportunities. So to the young people here, when you're given opportunities, and ACES will give you lots and lots and lots of opportunities, as you have this evening, embrace those opportunities and make them as beneficial to you as you possibly can, okay? Mo was very lucky to have this mentor that identified his talent, looked after him in school and out of school. I'm sure all of you have got similar teachers in your schools. Listen to them and try and benefit from their support. Thank you very much. Thank you.